Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting propaganda cast for me, your host, Imperial Dane, Master Propaganda Hero of Psych, Defender of the Fatherland. Off hit an exciting one versus one on. Fame will approach between the North, you got here, Brussels, fighting for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland, taking on the role here of the Third Panzer Division, most in the South, you got here, Hooligan, fighting for the Soviet Union, Socialism, Stalin, taking on the role here, one and tenth Rifle Division. And this is from the December Balance PU, 1.4, by the way. We've got here Armored Assault, Gart Motor, and Sword Industry with Infantry Sniper versus Mechanized Assault and Blitzkrieg and Mobile Offense with Double Infantry and Panzer Faust here for Brussels. A double pioneer that allows Brussels to sort of sweep out the field more aggressively, seize territory faster, also fortify faster with the infantry following up there. It's a slightly less common start, I think, for the Valmont, but not necessarily a bad one. Though, of course, versus a conscript here built in Mount Range Mission, in particular, now the conscripts are even better versus the Pioneers, where the previously, if you could sort of get the Pioneers up close, you'd have a decent chance of the Pioneers, but now I'm actually less sure of the Pioneers even stand a chance up close versus the conscripts. Then, this moving forward, you've got conscript heavy cover there, going to see Brawls immediately falls back as Hooligan here has just fortified the truck and turned into his own personal little fortification. Up north, Pioneers continuing there again, Brawls can just sweep out here in the south, Pioneers grabbing the fuel point there, this is another Pioneers got for the fuel point there. Third conscript squad for Hooligan with more Canadians arriving there for Brostras and Deutschland. Now the player he has within the first few minutes uh, gone in for Dutch, and so now the player sort of in eagerly committing to anything there. He's hitting the northern few points. I mean, he's basically just stalling and buying time away from Hooligan. I mean, this could affect oh, one big diversion here for Brostras because the pioneers are just getting him the other fuel as well. And it is doing all right, these near us the conscripts. A range they do have the advantage, they did take some damage as they were approaching and they cover in the first place. So the Grenadiers might, in theory, lose out if we've got another Grenadier squad moving against the conscripts. Conscript hanging about here, Pioneers sort of doing something there. And there we go, Brussels now storming the conscripts here out in the open. Pretty risky there for Brussels, pretty risky. We got Hooligan rushing in his conscripts to try and save the situation there. Gets in behind the Bart Wayne into the cover there. Focusing down the weaker conscript squad first, but his Grenadiers is themselves getting focused down here. So the assault overall here has worked out poorly. And again, we can sort of see how the new conscripts are overall performing better for the Soviets. And definitely sort of established a clear line of difference between the Grenadiers and the conscripts. So right there, Bros has seen all of his forces beaten and rushed off, losing every fuel point in the process there to Hooligan and the 110th Rifle Division. Fourth conscript squad there running for Hooligan. Grenadiers been forcing as firstly as they can, others setting out there. He would definitely benefit from an MG42 and more to sort of pressure uh, Hooligan's forces. At least that would sort of be the idea here. More reinforcements there, so three Grenadiers, two Pioneers. Possession here by the truck has been abandoned, possibly due to the smell. It stinks like corpses. Yes, well, there's a lot of dead people here, there. Yes. And sitting up here for a nice little ambush. If anyone tries to peek the head through, they got a full dose of most of the gun up in the face. And I think Brosa sort of is waiting for his gun at the same time so he doesn't just get one squad immediately or one protected and the chance that focusing down the conscripts. So we can sort of see the relationship between the gun conscripts markedly changed with the December balance preview. And Sony puts some more pressure on the Bama, and Sony I think is going to force Brosas to really just consider some support weapons for his Grenadiers because just raw Grenadiers versus these new improved conscripts is going to be a uh, much, I think, weaker strategy long term. Pioneers up supporting them versus the conscripts there, and that definitely, I think, gives uh, Brosas here the edge he needs to cut down those rations up here. Grenadiers can to keep the conscript occupied. In fact, two squads now behind heavy cover. Uh, Pushkin there falls over like a bottle of vodka that had been filled up too much with rocks. Why anyone fill up with rocks though? Who knows? We got an MG42 there following up for Brosas and the third Panzer Division. Back here we got medics up there for Hooligan is quickly following up with the Molotov, which has I believe been made cheaper, so it's easier to get for. Giving us conquest more ability to deny the Germans cover in the first place. New mod contact into the Gundiers here, charging forwards. A few shots of this will give the Gundiers a chance to turn the fight around. As they finally get up close, there we go down to four, but even up close, the conscripts might just have the edge there. As the Gundiers have been depleted, we got more conscripts rushing in here. There we go. Brosas overwhelmed, but he's making progress elsewhere. And they're going to get his horse up with the Gundiers here. MG42 arriming here for Das Vaterland. Brosas could consider taking up or another MG42 or more to that would be pushing him into rather heavy tier 1 territory. And he's got three Gundiers. Two pioneers and one MD42 already, so even then he might be a bit uh, cautious about that. We'll see what happens here with Brosas and Deutschland. Gunnadies continue to occupy 
Hooligan's forces slightly, the others are sort of basically moving around it. Hooligan, they're realizing that's just going to be a prolonged fight that benefits from nothing. Right here, concentrating about, they've got their mines being laid down on the car, or by the victory point there. Very good work there. Sehr gute Arbeit. And you to me here, we got Samex, which you got to utilize there. Conscripts, are they laying down mines there? Brief look like he's laying down Fletcher. Mind, it looks like Hooligan is not. Medic banker up here, still not take up yet, though, for Brosas. Up here, Gunnerese versus Conscripts. Point there, secure as the Pioneers sweep away the Russians with well placed MP40 fire. And Pioneers here push back with the Conscripts, and nothing to do about the house there without a Flammenwerfer. And the munitions are going for a Medic banker. Still no sign of tech up. For Brothras, no sign of doctrine either. MP42 carrying the center there for Das Vaterland. And we got into tank grenades. Hulgen is committing heavily to a conscriptory build there. Full for conscripts, a lot of upgrades though. Interesting enough, none of his doctrines uh, really work with it. So in that regard, his uh, further in conscript play there uh, might long term have some slight implications. That's of course not to say the conscript will be bad, but he can't, for example, do any more things with them. So that could perhaps be a bit of a long-term uh, edge there that Brosos could maybe push, but we'll see. Got Mota, Armored Assault. I mean, you could probably then go for Gart Mota at the very least. They'll sort of make up for the lack of uh, anything more specific with the conscripts. is committing so many resources to them. But they'll certainly be able to challenge the Gundis quite a bit in the early game then. And support whatever just gets down the road. Take a finding happening there for Brosas and the Wehrmacht. Looking forward to getting up support here and defend the fuel point. Up north, also has a tank for the forwards. Pioneers, Gunnadiers, keeping up the pressure there against the Rations. Troops are healing, reinforcing. A sanitator hard at work at patching up German wounds. We got minesweepers out here for Hooligan, who's anticipating Borosa at some point laying down the telemines or S mines. Good foresight there by Hooligan. Good foresight. Gunnadiers team with a cannon with the conscript. Shots fired up close. And there you go, MG42 successfully defends the center there against Hooligan. Mines was up there, he's certainly assuming that Hooligan's been laying down Mines as well, so there you go. Both players here displaying uh, some high quality credentials there by actually going for a Mines before they hit any Mines. I'm reasonably sure off. Yes, that's the uh, pro attitude we like to see. At least I like to see. Unless it's my opponent doing it, in which case he's a bastard. That's another story. So Pobin Company and Maxim out here for Hooligan, adding some firepower there to the proceedings. And before turning up here, gonna get swarmed by the cunts with Molotovs, in this case a bit of barbed wire. But we have oh, yeah, actually let down a mine, they're not a bad spot at all. The barbed wire here, S mines around the M42, will make this kind of thing a lot more difficult for Hooligan to do. I'll make things a lot higher. And there you go, got double Molotovs there, threatening to wipe out the M42 very fast if it does not retreat neatly, in fact, even before that. Down here, Maximus is going to need to get into the house. Actually, deny the maximum chance to suppress his men. But, oh dear! Then again, the Gunnadis could be wiped out inside the house. Up here, Gunnadis team with some advancing conscripts. Things looking a bit nasty. All pops into the house nonetheless. Pioneer spot in the mines. Maximus not getting shot at. And he's got the like to make a nice company up here. Gunnadis heading northwards. A lot of action going on here. Both players hitting each other's very hard and unrelentingly. Pioneer's tank from the north here. But they're quickly getting gunned down. He needs to retreat immediately. He could go for some light vehicles. He could consider some Panzer gun ideas. There's all these conscripts. Panzer gun ideas would be, I think, a very potent counter here for Brussels and the German army. Another option in theory could be, you know, mechanized assault. Rolling out some assault gun ideas, so that'd be a bit late for them now, but not impossible. Or I suppose in theory, if it goes really bad, he could go for a Stugi. So far, we've not seen any vehicles from Hooligan. Pressing house, we're going through for mobile defense and a Puma with some Ostrom. But why down there, Pioneer shifting backwards. Troops in reinforcing, still no sign of further tech there for Bruce. It asks for anything from his like to make a nice company, really. That's largely also due to the manpower pressure Hooligans been able to inflict him with all the constant damaging and fighting. We got a mortar on the way there for Brosas. With Hooligan going for a second max machine gun, that's definitely going to make a mortar pretty good. That's going to make a mortar a really good choice here. As that should help counter them somewhat. But right now we can see Hooligans are occupying most of the uh, prime real estate here. In terms of positioning, making much harder there for Brosas tech to push ahead. Mortar up there for the Wehrmacht. 
maximum there on its own inside the house put kind of this flank right there hitting the fuel point again a lot of sandbags being laid down here but we're looking across the map very good to see that Rifling against the maxim mortify a small chance of wiping the maxim there actually I think really Brussels each go for like because oh, if you can get the maximum that would be pretty big but no maxim oh Gets away with the tiniest level of health. That was really close there for Brosa. They've been able to wipe that maximum steal it. That would have been a pretty big win for him. He against Hooligan and the 1 in 10th Rifle Division. You could smoke the machine gun then. Just quickly allow him to push ahead or you could just mortar it. It's not on back and forth here. Pioneers need to retreat. Brosa has got plenty of fuel, so in theory, you could consider taking up now. It would take him some time though to get any armor, and of course, he might want to go for a light vehicle first as a panzer gun, these obviously. Hooligan on the end has yet to take up any further. Mortar on the way, though, that's going to make things even nasty there for Brostas. Much more nasty, got the MD4 chilling up here by the southern fuel. <coughs> Troop sealing and enforcing. Grenadier sending out, and we got Kanska switching out there as well for Hooligan. Panzer gonna do there only for Borsas. Definitely not a bad choice at all. There's all these conscripts, I and mean, I think sort of buff them further. The Panzer gonna as well handle should be allowed able to hide some serious pressure there to Hooligan. Of course, Hooligan with the mortar is gonna make it a bit harder there for Borsas to do certain things. So uh, a lot going on there. Mine spotted. We got flamethrower pioneers, and who knows? Maybe Hooligan hasn't even realized there's a mine there. Oh, what? They were able to sweep it from inside the bloody house? How is that even possible? Use the force, Yuri! The force of chronic alcoholism! Pan's gonna be descending up, Pan is going here for the Maxim. There you go, Maxim out. Pan's gonna be finally on the move, mortar supporting here, push. Gonna be these Pioneers, Minesweepers. Pioneers are pressed, but not fully. Conscript slowly being pushed back. We got take over there for Hooligan. Rosa has got nothing else going on. So not machine guns for the gun. These would not be a bad idea. Maybe some town mines. Because he's soon going to get hit by light vehicles there by Hooligan or some light tanks. In theory, Hooligan can just try and rush ahead there for making nice armor company, but I don't think he's got the sort of leader that would fully allow that here versus Rosa. Plus for the mobile defense operation that also a possibility, I mean, well, the leak C7 not, might not even be that effective, we'll see here. Are we hitting points, hitting calf points, just swiftly advancing here on Hooligan's position, perhaps they're taking meter hit there from the Moltres, losing quite a bit of health and numbers there. And immediately falling back there from the fuel point. One gun of this squad has been up with the lap machine gun so far here. In the points in the south, but also uh, remains uncommitted to taking up still. I mean, is that the point that if he were to take up, you could probably quit for up some armor and that way really begin pressuring back at Hooligan. The Mies versus Conscripts there. Pioneer here needs to fall back pretty schnell. Oh, is he going to get cut to ribbons there by all of Hooligan's Conscripts in the south? Have we got another push with Pioneer Engineers and the Maxim? Oh dear. Gonna get suppressed and looks like you got a wipe there. Country squad got the uh, torn to bits and there go max out from the machine gun crew team here. All right, Ludwig, I want you not to let go and set trigger except for of course for the two second bursts because as a vice machine gun will overheat and you get a lot less accurate visit. So uh, just uh, keep bursting, yeah. So getting wiped, they should do a great deal of good there for Brostas. And there you go, finally taking up there, and you can then quickly follow up actually with a support on the core and a. I think actually you could pretty quickly then go for a Panzer IV to pressure Hooligan with. And Hooligan is not going for any light armor, which would indicate a mechanized armor company at play. Possibly because he's worried about the mobile defense and a Puma quickly locking down when he does. It's a possibility, anyways. We'll see there if that is truly what he's thinking. Of course, the T70 is fast, that could also put some serious pressure out. And of course, could have forced him to commit to a doctrine that would not offer him more late game options, like, say, 
mechan assault the creatures and that sooner or blitzkrieg doctor with its command tank oh, that one also does but that one has still got close air support rear though constantly being shredded by the panzer gun of the unit they're stumgewehrs trumping most elegance three hundred points left though here for broadside he definitely needs to turn things around a bit more seriously here soon only for a two falling bit back here maximum constant into the center up north punches push back here and Pioneers was in, ooh, so he's getting to the fuel point to actually prevent them from capping it and rendering it neutral. That'd be a bit bad there for Brostas. So put on the core up. Well, he can build it now. In fact, again, he's easily got the resource to build it and then push out Panzer IV almost as soon as possible. Or if he wants to, he could push for the Osmond. Of course, that would leave him to long for armor. There we go. Hooligan is, in fact, playing here for the mechanized armor company. He just wants to push for those tanks as fast as possible, which is definitely not a bad idea either. Which are hitting and forcing pioneers on the way. In theory, he could try and push for a panther. I mean, he's even got the resource just to quickly move on, build up a heavy panzer corps, and actually, almost as soon as he's got the heavy panzer corps, go for a panther. But that would be part of true ambitious there for Brussels. So, setting up for the MD 42 is probably long term bet. We've got smoke screens and the machine gun, very good work. Even set up for the intended up here as soon as the smoke lifts. That's going to get a bit painful. And there you go. Go over to two turning off using rounds. They're going to get pinned soon enough. In fact, they're just taking huge casualties there. Half the squad won in a matter of seconds. Which is generally why you always try to use incendiary on piercing rounds as many cases as possible. There's a good chance of dealing with some damage, but of course you have to time it right. So if it goes, the machine gun has to reload. But if you know used correctly, it can deal a lot of damage to your opponents. And holy moly, he is in fact going for it. He is in fact going for it. He's actually going to try to push out for the heavy panzer core and a panther here versus hooligan. We'll have to see if though. I mean, he's kind of behind, but sort of stabilized. We'll have to see if the panthers and axes are worth it. That would certainly be one of the better tests to see it. Because soon Hooligan will have a tank out and Brosas will not immediately have anything to counter it. But there you go, he's almost got ready, then he can build up and he will actually have the resource then to build the Panther more or less as soon as he can. But still, it is a risky play there. And he might in fact be aided here by the fact that it seems like Hooligan is actually playing straight for the T-45. So that's actually benefiting Brosas' plan for Panther. The T-34-6 would actually put um, Brosas in a much more sticky position. Whereas the T-35 was certainly still potent, is a bit further off than the T-3476, which again he could add out much, much sooner. And they could also follow up with another one. Of course, the T-35 is going to be better on one-on-one -on -one in the Panther than the T-3476. But again, it could have put some serious pressure on Brosas and forced him to delay it because he's got zero anti-tank. It's quite interesting to note there. Machine gun up. There we go. Heavy Panzer Corps up here for Brosas. And we are just about a minute away from the Panther. In fact, even not even a minute. We're probably looking about uh, half a minute. Maybe. So we'll see how it works out there. Hooligan launching a northern assault. Spending a lot of manpower actually, which is actually stalling his tank. Whereas Brosas, as you might be noticing, is being a lot more conservative with his manpower expenditures. I mean, Hooligan is probably not anticipating Brosa actually playing for a Panther. He's just thinking, I've got this. He trades needs the most. going to push out a Panther 4 with me, against me, in which case the T-35 is going to be great. But now again, due to the way the tech has been changed, I mean, Brosa is just feeling a bit more confident in playing straight for the Panther. We'll see. But, oh, well, you can build the Panther now. Particularly now the Panther has been, yeah, you know, a bit better. Again, does more damage now overall with both machine guns and main gun. Smokes in there again on the center. Good work there by Hooligan. Modify on the Maxim. Falling back. We got Telemans coming the main road. Troops are hitting reinforcing. Panzer Gunnadies definitely need a medical aid as well. Almost got the MD42 with the conscripts. Whoa, that was a weird retreat pathing there. Bit weird to put him mildly. Bit more to go there, and we got air support called in by Hooligan right here in Brosa's positions. That's going to be pretty nasty. That aircraft is actually pretty good at wiping units in retreat. But the Brosa's lost most of his ground there as he's waiting for the Panther. Panther Ops will have more impact now, but obviously, long term, the Panther could now prove to be a better choice. And there you go, Panther out here for Brosa's and the third Panther to be shown. Adding the Pendulum and Machine Gun to the Panzerkampfwagen 5. Ooh, 
Whew, lucky there, and since there's that negative cover, that could have gone a lot more ugly. Rolling out with a panther here, and Broussard is not going to be the one then, a bit of 6G, because he's got an anti-tank, except the anti-tank grenades versus the panther. They should keep the entire machine guns, hold guns, but against the uh, infantry as much as possible, so that way do more damage. As a to strafe. What the kind of... Oh, the Panzer gonna do is got wiped. Ah, that was a bit careless there by Brosas, but then obviously just highlights the power of it. And those Panzers, I think, were more or less at full health, and they got to just wipe a single strafe there by it. And that thing is really, really strong. Panther wing hit the pin by machine gun up now as well, added to the infantry damage there, it can do. And a tank grenade off. Not doing too much damage to the Panther. But it's machine and Gewehr and Brussels needs to break out the ult, should consider replacement Panther gonna be scored. And he should consider Doctrine. But anyway, it's gone for, I think, mobile defense or Blitzkrieg is gonna offer him the most support for his Panther. I mean, Panzer Tissue with the Panther is going to help him keep him more alive, and the command tank could also further, you know, assist the Panther in staying in one piece, making it a much more formidable uh, weapon of war against the Russians. We'll see what the uh, Blues ends up with. In fact, he can soon go for a Command Panther to support his Panther. A Command Panzer, not a Command Panther. I'll be the other Commander S, they can get a Command Panther. Mortar car in the open by the Panther. Need to be careful here, they got a lot of comps flanking on the Panther. There you go, double anti tank and he does do the trick down the Panther. Things like the machine gun so far are having a huge impact, but that's partly also I think down to how Brussels is using it so far. He's gonna to need to repair it. And right now he might need to something else in the command panther. In fact, a command panther, it might be another panther. Needs to prioritize repairing the Panther. Smokes it down the center again. Good work there by Wulgen versus Brosas. So you end up taking up an ultimate, then going for the IS-2. In which case, it was actually Brosas that's aiding the arrival of the IS-2 by just trying to play for a Panther. Oh, mind games. Mortar then being pushed back. Needs to get his pioneers to work on that Panther as soon as possible. He needs to prioritize that. We can have on the way there for Brosas. Another Granatin effort to pressure Hooligan, bombard his men, and blast his possessions into dust. Nice two catching the Grenadiers there, but not quite wiping them. Mortar Vets in the three there for Deutschland. Almost got the Panther there ready. Fun fact, it took several minutes to actually open up the Commander's hatch, and the Panther's a chance to do it with a winch or whatever. Twisting at I can't remember the name for it right now, but then there's Panther going straight here for the Ice 2 up close. Pretty risky there, so it increased the chance of the Ice 2 actually doing what he wants with the Panther. I mean, it ranged the Panther thing actually has the slight edge over the Ice 2, but up close, the Ice 2 actually enjoys the advantage right there. Brussels, I think, uh, made a bit of a blunder with his Panther. He's got the news up, they're trying Panther fast and stall the Ice 2. There you go, armor slightly working out his favor. I mean, up close again, the Panther's armor isn't that amazing. It's ranged, the Panther's armor stands the best chance. That was a bit of a tactical mistake there by Brosas. It almost cost him his Panther. But he's got double mortars out now. He's going to put some serious pressure there on Hooligan. It's going to force him to focus them down some way. And we got another MD4 chart here for Brosas to further curtail and control Hooligan's infantry. I think that's also going to be, you know, long term a better choice. As well now he's got anything else. He want probably another Panther down the road. And I think some Panther can do would still be a good choice as long as he doesn't run them straight into the Red Air Force. And there you go, Panther. The effects behind again. Brosses has yet to go for Doctrine. I'm still thinking Blitzkrieg here or Mobile Defense. Going after the Ice 2. We got a demo charge there. No, the tanks can't spot them, but infantry are supposed to also not supposed to be able to push them within the, the territorial point here, but I'm guessing uh, that's still to be resolved. Oh, again, got a bit of clutter to the uh, Ice 2. Remember, use the Panther's range when it comes to the armor, so that way you have the best chance of fighting the enemy. But he's able to escape in the ice too, still can't pursue the Panther, that works out well. Ish for Brosas, and the third Panzer to be shown here. 
Constantly charging the Gundis, the Mollus are very much softened them up, forcing Brosras to fall back here. Hard work on the Panther, half eight of it, 22. We can soon go for a second Panther. Which would definitely spell trouble for the Ayers too. Would definitely spell some serious trouble. Four two take nasty hits there. Going in the center victory point. He's still low on victory point in blue, so it's definitely needs to sort of uh, get a bit better at holding ground now, otherwise uh, there's only a good chance of losing. Smoke's been down there for Hooligan. He's making very good use of smoke. This sort of cover up his assaults versus Brosas. Brosas almost got the fuel for the second Panther. Just needs to get the manpower. He could also consider using smoke of his own, to be honest, here versus uh, Hooligan. That would not be a bad choice for Brosas at all. He's hitting all the victory points. In fact, he really should then consider mobile defense and counter attack tactics will allow him to grab the points faster. Which I think is uh, really what Brosas now is looking for. There goes two going straight for the Panther. Panther shoots, penetrates. I two shoots, penetrates as well. Almost got the maximum there with an excellent mortar hit. Almost got it. There we go. Eyes two are the misses of oh, fails to penetrate the Panther. Panther on the hand gets a retreat, hit, turn hit. Almost 52 there. Northern victory points secured. Southern victory points secured here. Brosas is launching an all out assault here for the Fatherland. Panther going off the eyes two. The lands a hit. Misses though. So it doesn't actually land a hit. I was wrong there. T-34 following up for the Hooligan, bring up Morama. But also has got the fuel now, just needs to set the manpower there for the Panther. He couldn't theory go for the Tiger, but that means mechanized assault. And again, I think he should go for mobile defense or Blitzkrieg tactics. I mean, that's all the one that sort of synergizes the best with this already on the field Panther. And other elements then providing more support. Smoke from there to allow him to rush the point there. Panther receiving some repairs. Very close to Victory 2. T-34 almost done there for Hooligan. Manpower wise, he's still getting close to the Panthers. Securing points here. Gonna do this holding up with the southern one. Northern one being secured there by Hooligan. Trees flying by there. So they're terrified of the German Panzerwaffe. Or possibly the Soviet tanks. Who knows? I'm gonna make like a tree and leaf. Goddamn trees. Carrots. Grab the point here. Ooh, MB4 to the insights of the IS2, though no, he's not upgraded with the disc and machine gun on top there. Panther moving down there pretty aggressively. Need to be careful there. Brosas, it's a Panther, not a Tiger Ace. They're getting some good damage in there. Almost virtually two there. Nine kills for the du Deutschland. Yeah, we have nine kills because that is what our opponents scream. I saw it to the Russians. Well, you know, to do know a bit of German. <laughs> uh, he needs to Blitzkrieg that Panther out there to gain some distance. There we go. He's almost got enough resources for a second Panther. Of course, at this point, he might just play for a Tiger because that's not going to have a build time. Panther is 32. That's going to be a bit harder there for Hooligan to kill, though no longer gains the armor bonus. He just gains a health bonus. Panther moves ahead. Shoots, penetrates. We get to Betsy Field. That'd be pretty good there. There you go. Second Panther for Brostas. And the third Panzer be shown. T for four continues ahead here. Panther fast off. Gonna attack around here, I think. There we go. Another hit, another hit. Rule against T five is in a bit of trouble there. Underestimate the threat of the Panzer fast. There you go. Panzer moving ahead. They're gonna enter tank grenade. It. Air support called in as well. They make it harder here for Brosa to support his tank with other infantry. Shoots, misses. Halfway to victory three. Panther halfway done. Getting pretty intense here. Panther moving ahead again. Pretty bully there by Brosa, to be honest. Oh, oh no, 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 what are you doing? Brosas, nine. There you go, doesn't get punished for it. Panzerfaust is actually, and there you go, air support flying in. Misses. <coughs> Pretty close there. Panther with 13 kills. Mortified, they're almost firing up the conscripts. He got 11 and 19 kills in the mortars. Brosas has gone out and there for battery. is providing uh, valuable support for the fatherland. Fixing up the panther there. Second panther arriving. Giving Brosas here a mighty steel fist. Troops there being hit. But once troops are bunched up, they become a lot less uh, vulnerable to it. So in theory, it's, it's actually an air support attack that rewards blobbing. Which just makes it even weirder, actually. Like, it's a, an ability that demands that you blob 
to survive. I don't like that, actually. But there you go, both pans going after the eyes too here. Bit risky, still in exposed to their frontal armor there. He's now in exposed to the rear armor. That seems uh, like a really bad idea there by Brosas, to be honest. But in this case, the eyes too struggling to hit here. As it is moving about herself there. And there's this range, I guess the Panthers aren't having much issue with that. Tifa of opening up. Almost got the eyes too there. Panthers almost 53 as well. Oh, my God. Tifa for shoots. Eyes too down. A big loss there for Hooligan. He's just down to the Tifa of here. And there's two Panthers on the field for Germany. Tifa of taking a nasty hit there. Panthers almost veteran T3 and there we go we got an ace we got an ace Panther Germany sings and the T35 screams along with it 16 kills on the Panther 5 kills on the other one Hooligans forces so close to it ah oh, demo charge went off he didn't spot it Cards being pushed back there by the Panthers machine gun fire and the supporting infantry. Central victory point which got by the MB42 Solomon's caught by conscripts. Moving down the ace there to force away any Russian troops. Unit wipe the mortar fire, max them being cut ribbons by the machine guns on the Panther. Oberleutnant Deinhardt strikes. Down the northern victory point with single grenadier troops are reinforcing healing. He still hasn't chosen a doctrine though. He still hasn't chosen a doctrine. And to tank made off of the Panther. Granted, I mean we can I'll make some use of it, so I'll get that Rosa doesn't make any use of his. Only fortune we've got an issue found there for Hooligan. I still think let's be go. Mobile defense would be a good choice here for Hooligan. Bring in his other Panthers defender point. He hits a mine there straight on. Pushing back the Conscript successfully, rushing into the center of the portrait. They've been swarmed. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. 60 points left with 367. Falling back with the Panther. And it is reinforcing. Work on Das Panzer Kampfwagen 5, issue 5 tank shot here for Hooligan. But later to be replaced by the issue 100, that they happened really, really late in the war, by like 1945 February around there. Before that, they actually had chassis ready, so they just made issue 1 5s with the, the chassis of the issue 100 was actually longer. Slightly longer, actually. Fun fact there. I believe they called the issue 100 the fucking end to everything pardon my language but the russians aren't particularly known to being very polite when it comes to that well, that's a fun fact the issue 100 suffered a lot of the same issues as the yacht panzer with the high velocity gun that is the gun was actually too big for the chassis to handle properly And it's back from the southern victory. Pompadour got control of them all. Still no doctrine from Brosas. Yes, he just has me to find one that fits him. In that regard, I mean, they don't really sort of, in any way, sort of hugely help with the strategy. They're going to think Blitzkrieg would be the best choice there for Brosas. Could maybe consider some other ones. I do, do by the I hope you get to see the Wehrmacht doctrine O-Holes this soon. Their commanders, like, you know, Jaeger Infantry and Oswegen. I'd like to see what they sort of try to make those a bit more vulnerable, personally. Got the Panther moving down there. Ace is almost good to go here. I'm definitely getting the impression that the Vermont Panther is uh, uh, more useful overall. More useful. Which is good. Obviously, that's kind of what you needed. That the Panther became useful in a 1 versus 1. As it was a bit of a weak choice in many cases, it felt like at times not worth the investment. But there you go, moving ahead here. 
Smoking down the sand in this case though in slightly wrong place. But we're like hooligan so we'll spit then smoking up as much as we can. Mortifying the MD-42 here in the south when these advancing. Mortify there from Prosas's mortar battery providing ample support for his troops. And he's basically just trying to keep conquer over the Panther. There you go, close, cutting them apart. Other Panther tank in the HD5 here. They've seen quite a bit of damage, trying to blitzkrieg here. And got hit with an anti-tank grenade, that's this good here. HD5 is almost going to get the Panther. So at the same time, you can see there's easily counters to the Panther. For the most part. Uh, and again, these still require intelligent handling, but now you should get more rewarded, I suppose, for it. Oh, that's T2, the HD5 missed because it was moving. The Panther also was. And there you go, second Panther moving in. Main gun out, main gun out. Ah, oh, Scheiser. Attack round. Ah, oh, shot didn't go through. H pan H5 got the Panther. But the other Panther should be able to get it. Misses the HD5 there. My god. There we go, though. Got the one bastard with the last shot there. You can actually go for a mechanized assault and just call in a tiger tank. At this point, though, it's not looking too good here for Hooligan. Most of his options are gone. Most of his armor is gone. He's going for Sturmpanzer to help counter the infantry. Also, a fun detail about the armored skirts of the Panther. Before they actually came up, the armored skirts of the Panther were actually considering the Panther II, which was just overall supposed to be a more bigger armored Panther with a 88mm high velocity gun and a uh, smaller but more easy to build turret. When someone then decided to stick armored skirts on, they sort of realized they didn't actually need the Panther II, so the Panther II was scrapped for 5mm of side skirts on the Panther. I still find that amusing. Got a snipe there on Pushkin, his brother, Pushkini. Ah, oh, crushes an entire conscript squad, but just sort of reappearing. Ocho! Yeah, did you hear something? Nine. All right. Far bouts. <laughs> so there you go. GG. Game over. Victory for the Svartland. A victory for Brosas. I still feel like you could have done with the Doctrine, to be honest. Like, if you don't use all any of your three Doctrines, you might consider something else. But I think an interesting fact that's certainly highlighting, uh, I would say, the newfound utility of the Panther here. Sort of the, a bit more useful now, with the overall better DPS. Which was definitely, I think, one of the things the Panther lacked. Just damage output. Good use of gun The mortar thing also proved quite helpful in the long game. You know, as soon as he got the second one, he could just lay down some more serious fire. This is Hooligan. Hooligan's play you know, for just the biggest tank possible, I think, was sort of one of the big mistakes that he ended up committing. Gave Bros at the time to just push for a Panther, which was in some ways uh, pretty risky. And certainly he might benefit a bit more from just pushing out the fastest medium tank as possible rather than either case going for the biggest medium tank or the biggest heavy tank they could get. So there's certainly some thoughts there for it. Hooligan could easily benefit more from mines so versus Brosas. We may a lot harder for down the road for Brosas to actually use his Panthers. So that's certainly something to keep in mind. But I think an interesting fight here, some good play from both players. And there you go. Also a big thanks to Brian and to Stephen for donating and supporting the propaganda cast. Most appreciated big both of you, one of them Patreon, the other Stephen and the other on PayPal. And of course, if you like what to do and want to support it, do consider donating or pledging on Patreon as well. Links are in the video description. This is Imperial Ding, also saying big thanks to all my already existing Patreon supporters, but otherwise saying thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and see you all tomorrow for another signing episode. Bye!